day of healing. This is a day of freedom. This is the day when your voice is breakthrough in the spiritual realm. When your voice, you partnering with the promises of God that yes and amen brings the breakthrough. So line up against the wall and share your 15 second declaration of what God wants to do in our church this morning and our town in South Jersey and all of New Jersey because our influence is powerful. So the word I got today was masterpiece. And every one of us is a masterpiece. And I declare over South Jersey that people are gonna start to see themselves that way, that any of the lies the enemy tries to put over them, they're gonna see that it's a lie and they're gonna ask for the truth. They're gonna see how God made them and that they're a part of God's art gallery in Jesus' name. picture of a uh, key and that key opens so many different doors and it's the promises that we have and he, on the way to the journey God's saying just remember this promise and when you get to that door you're going to open that door with that key and have major breakthrough when that door opens and that's the season you're going to walk in. This morning Lord we, we thank you and bless you Lord for the men, the men in this congregation Lord and the men that are intended to be in this congregation. God, we send out a call for you this morning, Lord, for fathers to rise up and take their place in this house, for fathers in the kingdom to stand up and lead this next generation to know you and to love you with passion. Lord, we send out a call this morning, we call to the hearts of the men of this community to rise up and take your place in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, that this is a day of fulfilled promises. We know, Lord, in eternity where you are with us in the future, every promise has been fulfilled. And today, Lord, as we wait on you, we just promote a hope. We declare a hope and we declare an expectancy. Let's partner with the faithfulness of God. So we just speak it out that God is the faithful one. He is the true one. And I kept hearing it this morning. I am faithful and true. I am the one who is faithful and true. So we just say, yes, God. We receive those promises one more time. We step in with faith in Jesus' name. We say, yes, Lord. We believe that you are faithful. We believe that you are true. Amen. I just feel like God wants to remind us that our God is a miracle-working God. So we can live in expectancy of those miracles and those dreams and those promises that God has given us. So I saw a picture of a door, but it's a waiter door. So if you know anything about a waiter door going in and out of the kitchen, there's always a window. And when you look through the window, you can see to the other side. And God is saying, push through those doors. Push through to those mountains because you already see me waiting for you on the other side in Jesus' name. I feel like the Lord gave me a, just a picture, a vision, or of a Ferris wheel. And I feel like He wants to tell people that you feel like you've been on the Ferris wheel around and around. But today's the day where it's going to stop and you can get off in Jesus' name. I had a picture of um, fireballs and they were like rolling around and I was just asking the Lord what that was and it felt like he said that we are fireballs of peace and of joy today in Jesus name so we just we just speak out those fireballs of peace we say yes peace over this area in Jesus name fireballs of joy that you every one of us is a fireball of joy so we say yes Lord in Jesus name amen Today is Father's Day and we celebrate fathers, but I'm really feeling like Father God just celebrates you because you made him a father. That he gets to be your daddy and he celebrates being your daddy. And so I just release on Father's Day today a revelation of your heavenly daddy, this father who's so proud to have you, that he's so proud of the moment that he got to have you. I declare the unshakable faith is rising in this church and throughout all of Stratford. This week the Lord kept giving me the word building and I said, what are we building? And he said, we today. He is building in us leaders in connection, leaders in our community, leaders in family, leaders in spreading God's love that we carry what it takes to spread and build family in our workplaces, build family in our church, build family in our family. 
So God gave me two pictures, and both of them were trains. And the one train was trying to go up this mountain that hasn't been to in such a long time, and it's been trying, and it's looking, and it's going, and it's, and it's the faith, and it's the promise that it's going to go over that mountain. And the, all the God's been doing is they've been building the coal they need to throw into that engine to get over that hill. And today's the day that happens. They get over that hill today, and then the other picture I got was that people in this area, in this church, in, in Stratford, in South Jersey, have been thinking they're the caboose when they're the engine. And they are building, and they are going to be the leaders that are going to be in this church, that are going to be in this area, that is going to start the revival and keep it going in South Jersey, in New Jersey, in Jesus' name. Yeah, I want to partner with what Mike was saying there. The Lord was really speaking to me about those who are in the middle of, of something bad and are waiting for the other shoe to drop. not what God's got for you. I want to uh, speak to those souls and I, I, I declare that hope will rise this morning and that rather than waiting for the other shoe to drop, you're waiting for God to come to your rescue. Rather than waiting for the next bad thing to go wrong, you're waiting for God to come miraculously and move in ways that you've never seen him move before to demonstrate to you how much he loves you and how good that he is because he is good. So Lord, we pray that you would do that this morning in South Jersey, in this church, in this area, in Jesus' name those words and Lord we ask for an igniting this morning God we give you permission to ignite us to set us on fire to make us those fireballs to fuel the engine Lord that we would be the leaders that we would be stepping into what we have God we say yes we say yes to you we ask you to ignite and burn us up Lord for you in Jesus name I just heard um I saw the, 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 the story of the little engine that could when I heard this, the train. And he, he constantly said, I think I can, I think I can. But it's not a season of I think I can. It's a season we get rid of the think and we say, I can, I can. We're going to go higher because we believe what we can do. And we're going to do that in this season, in Jesus' name. Yes, and I feel the Lord just saying, if you would just lift your hands right now with me. You just lift your hands. Lord, we just lift our hands to heaven and we say, yes, let your fire fall on us. Yes, we want to be that fireball right now. 